Hey guys, welcome to this week's Hot or Not Thursday. Today we are talking about the new Kat Von D Shade and Light Contour Palette. I also have the Companion Brush. These were sent to me about a month ago. I got a bit of a sneak peek and I have now put them to the test and I have my full review, Hot or Not style, ready to go for you guys. So first off, this palette here is exclusive to Sephora. It is a gorgeous palette. You get three contouring shades, light, medium, and dark. That is fantastic. There is something for everyone in here. And then you also get three companion highlight shades. One is more of a pink tone, yellow tone, peach tone. And I want to throw out there that yes, this is fantastic that they've brought a contour kit to mass market, that so many companies are finally getting it, that you don't want to carve out the face and sculpt the face with a shimmery, warm toned bronzer. So that's a huge win. But also when you're looking at this, if you're like, oh, I'm really fair, like I wouldn't use this one down here, or I have really dark skin, I don't think I would use these other highlights. These actually make excellent shadows as well, so don't count that out. You do also get an illustration in here that does guide you through contouring, so you're not totally going in the dark. You don't just get this palette and you're like, okay, what do I do? You do get some really beautiful illustrations that were done by Kat Von D herself, and it does guide you through how to use this guy. I wanna say first off, um, let's pro and con this here. We'll, we'll just focus on the palette and put the brush down for a moment. You do get a lot of product in here. The packaging is a bit bulky. I don't mind it. You get a large mirror in here. It's nice quality packaging, but it is not really, it's not as compact as say my little Inglot sculpting powders that I can just throw in a Z palette that are very slim, thin, and I can take on the go. This is more of a palette that you would keep on hand at home for everyday use. It is a little bulky. I think it's a fair price for the amount of product that you get in here. This is $45 and you get such a variety of shades that I think it is worth it. And again, use these as eyeshadows too. Do not just limit yourself. Powder for the most part is powder and you can put it wherever the heck you want. So if you wanna use you know, this as an all over the lid eyeshadow, go for it. You can. I just like how smooth the texture is and that it does blend really well. And also these are true matte sculpting powders. There is no shine in here whatsoever, which is really what you want if you want to achieve that professional sculpted but natural look to your skin. You definitely, when you're contouring, you want to avoid a lot of sparkle because the shine is going to reflect the light and really you're trying to create a shadow, so that doesn't make any sense if you kind of sit there and really think about that. I like the contour powders a little bit more than I do the highlighting setting powders. I prefer these on the lid versus setting concealer. I did have a bit of a trouble setting concealer I didn't like it as much as some of my other powders, but I still love this kit. It's very cool toned. You have more of a true taupe shade right here. You have, you know, a more true brown chocolate shade and then your deep brown. So very well done. I love it. It's hot. It's a great item. Let's talk about the brush. This is expensive. I think this is actually a very expensive brush, but that being said, I've been using this every day regardless if I'm using the Shade and Light Kit or Inglot or NARS or whatever. I really have been reaching for this brush a lot. 39 bucks for this guy, but you do get double-ended. It does tell you which one is light, which one is shade. This is the perfect shape right here to really carve out your cheekbones, to sculpt out the chin. And then you have this really fluffy dome-shaped brush that is excellent for getting on the cheekbones right here. If you did want to set concealer under the eyes, it's just a perfect shape and it does distribute the powder really beautifully. So I do like it, I just think it's pretty up there in price and that's my only negative thing to say about it. So that brings this Hot or Not to a close. I love these products. I give them a big round of applause. Kat Von D, I'm really into the brand right now. I really like it. So uh, that's all I have for you guys. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you next time. Mwah.